What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and I couldn't put this off any longer. This video is going to show you how to root your HTC One M8. Specifically, this is the unlocked GSM Google Play Edition. So you can install the GSM like you would for the actual like since version it'll work on here just fine there is not an m8 google play edition recovery if they do have one just similar to like the moto g is called the falcon they have the falcon gpe recovery i will update the description with links and i would request that you flash that instead of just the generic gsm version so uh, this laptop, I had issues, this is Windows 8.1, I had issues with drivers, like, I could not get ADB devices to show my serial number, list of attached devices was nothing. So what I did was I uninstalled the HTC, uh, BMP or BNT or whatever drivers I had installed previously, and I installed anything HTC related, I rebooted, and then I went to the HTC M8 support site, and I downloaded HTC Sync Manager. I didn't want Sync Manager, but now when I type in ADB devices, I will show you by going to my platform tools. Also, you're going to need the platform tools. Go to is.gd slash Android SDK. I'll put it up on the screen. Capitalization does matter. You will need to install the latest platform tools. Before doing this video, when I typed in SDK, and went to my SDK manager, it did say that my platform tools had an update to 19.0.2 and then the Android SDK tools updated previously. So you'll want to hit deselect all and then you'll want to go to the Android SDK and the Android SDK platform tools. There's no install button because I have the latest ones installed. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And then now I have a platform tool that I dragged and I showed you how to drag that in the video. So I'll link to that in the description. Again, that's is.gd slash Android SDK. So we're going to hold shift and then we're going to right click and choose open command window here. And we're going to type ADB devices and then press enter. It'll say list of attached devices and it says device. So I'm going to close that out because I don't want to show my information. All right. If a serial number pops up, then you have everything successful. And then on your phone, it should say this computer is requesting access. If it says offline, then you need to just go on here and press OK. Now, I also recommend checking the little box that says always allow. And then every time you try to use ADB to your phone, it'll be OK. So what we're going to need is to do a couple things. You're going to need to Google Super SU. The first thing should be a link to XDA developers. And then you'll scroll down here until you find a little thing to download the file. And for some reason it switched tabs. Okay, so down here it says CWM Twerp Mobile Odin. Press on that. It'll take you to a download right here. And then you just press download Super SU. And then I'm going to go ahead and send it to my desktop. You can just hit download if you don't have a download manager, and it should work just fine. Also, you're going to need recovery. So Google tw HTC One Twerp GSM Recovery, and it'll take you to right here, and it is the GSM version right there. This is the one you'll need to download. So you'll just go down here until you find download newest image from here. And I always, always recommend going with the very latest one, which is 2702. So if, if you watch this video in the future and that's a newer version, please flash that instead of the older one. So we're going to click on that and then it's going to give us a little countdown timer and we're going to wait for this to finish up. I'm going fast here because I don't want this to be a long video. I get a lot of complaints about, you know, <laughs> speed it up, you're going too slow and etc. So um, just this, this is optional. I'm going to verify the MD5 with this tool called down them all one word. It's a Firefox add on that I've been using since like Firefox 2.0 beta. So it's it was unsuccessful. So my download manager is not working on this website. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for it to count down. And then I'm just going to hit save file without using a download manager because it failed. All right, so it downloaded 2702. If you're using Firefox, just click this little icon right here. All right, so here's the file in our downloads folder. We're gonna right click on it, choose the cut command, and then we're gonna go to platform tools, and we're gonna go ahead and paste that. 
So now we have update super or, or uh, open recovery twerp 2702M8. So also that super SU thing you downloaded, you're going to need to, that was on our desktop because that downloaded successfully. We're going to go to our desktop here and then we're going to right click on this update super SU and then we're going to go send to and then our HTC one M8. That way it's on the root directory of the SD card and we can go ahead and well I've already copied it so I'm going to go ahead and hit copy and replace but now that's on our internal storage on our phone here so when we install custom recovery we can go ahead and go to the internal storage and flash it so let's go ahead and start now this is where stuff gets real also, I should have mentioned this earlier. You need to have an unlocked bootloader. I unlocked my bootloader just like days after purchasing my phone because once you unlock the bootloader, you lose everything. It resets your phone. I've, this phone is not rooted. I can go ahead and show you that now. I don't have Super SU and I don't have any apps that require root access. In fact, if I go to use an app like Greenify, um, let me open up Instagram here. And then now when I go back to Greenify, it's going to do this because I don't have root. So let me go ahead and root this thing. <laughs> I don't have root. It's been killing me. Greenify works without needing to use this little uh, non-rooted method where it sits there and automatically force closes everything. Um, with root, it just does it behind the scenes. And I can back up my apps. I can restore them. I can install custom ROMs. I can use apps like Game Hacker and Game Killer. Um, not necessarily things I recommend, just, you know, people that want to modify in game values. So, in here, we're going to hold Shift and then right click again and choose Open Command Window here. And we're going to do ADB Reboot Bootloader. Now, you can also hold the phone and power it off. And then, as soon as it powers off, you're going to hold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it just so it doesn't try to charge it. It's trying to charge right now. Wait for a little light to go away, letting us know that it's longer charging. We're going to hold volume down. Oh, go away. Come on. You're not charging anymore. You're not. I'm excited. Oh, I, I, it's been killing me to not have root. Uh, down and then power. And then it's going to take us to the bootloader. And here, for some reason, mine says invalid. Yours probably won't say that. So you'll be all right. And I don't know why. Mine says that. But anyways, it says unlocked. That's important. If it's locked, this is not going to work. Installing recovery is not going to work if your bootloader is locked. So we're going to go ahead and plug our phone in. And in here, you can type fast boot devices. And also something I didn't consider is you also have to go down to fast boot and hit power button. Now it's going to say fast boot. And it should say USB here soon. Now my computer is installing drivers for that. Hopefully it'll install and I won't have any issues installing recovery. The, the drivers is the worst thing about rooting Android devices. So now it says fastboot USB. And just like you typed in ADB devices, you can type in fastboot devices. And then there it clearly states that my device is in fastboot. I keep closing it out because it'll, I don't want to keep having to worry about covering that up. So shift, right click, open command window here. And now we're going to do... Fast boot, flash, recovery, and then this is the important part. We need to type in OPE and then hit the tab button and it'll auto complete open recovery dash twerp dash 2702 dash m8 dot image. So if you hit tab, it'll auto complete it if it's in that directory. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter button. Now it's going to send the recovery and it's done. We now have recovery. This is sweet. So we can go here to uh, the HBoot option. And then we can go down to recovery. And it says that our bootloader is unlocked because we unlocked it a while back. Because I didn't want to have to reset everything. Now we have custom recovery. This is beautiful. This is what I've been wanting so long now. So we're going to go to install. And we're just going to go down here until we find that update super SU194. Press on that and then swipe to flash. This is going to root our device. I cannot believe I'm finally doing this after a month of having this awesome phone. I haven't even done my review of this phone yet. I wanted to do a thing on like double tapping the screen to wake it up. Uh, all the neat little features it has. Ah, ah, 
I, now, now I can fix my SD card issue. My 64 gig extreme micro SD card has been useless in this phone thanks to the stupid KitKat issue. And now I can download an app called SD Fix. That's one word, SD Fix. And it will go ahead and fix my phone. So my SD card will, I can take pictures and put them on the SD card. So now when I go to my app drawer here, super S U. Oh yeah. And then in the settings, I can go ahead and upgrade to pro. I have already paid for this. If you have not paid for it, it will have a price. I've already paid for it. So yeah, it's, it's there. It's, it's the pro version. It's downloading and installing. And then now I can download apps like Titanium Backup titanium backup and then install accept all right install accept and then also i highly recommend going and downloading a thing called busybox there is a free version but i paid for the pro version uh so i because i support the developers so now we've got those apps installing and we <laughs> were rooted this is great so now Greenify will work behind the scenes if I grant if I install the exposed framework and everything. See? Greenify, root permission. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. I, I need to install the exposed framework now that I'm rooted. So uh, that's, you know, you just open up Chrome, exposed frame work, and then you go to Exposed Installer, and then you go down here, and then you'll see this, and then you just go to, like, Chrome, Chrome, now it's downloading the APK. You're also going to want to go to Settings. Uh, and before, if you unlocked your bootloader, hopefully you had developer options. If you didn't have that, you would just go to Build Them or keep tapping on it. It says, no need, you're already a developer. And then you have developer options, and you enable USB debugging. I should have covered that earlier, but... Uh, if you've already unlocked your bootloader, then you knew that you were supposed to do that earlier. So, whatever. It is what it is. So, under security, we're going to see unknown sources. Check that. Press OK. Now, we can go to that download. Install. Open. And then, under modules, I'm going to enable Greenify. Go back to framework. And then, I'm going to do not show. Install. It's going to ask for root permissions since we're rooted. This is awesome. And there we go. Now we have the exposed framework. And now if we open up Titania Backup, it's going to ask for root access. And we can back up and restore apps now. This is, I don't know why it took me so damn long to do this. And we can also open up BusyBox and grant that root permission. And then you wait for this to fill up. And I had the pro version, so my BusyBox automatically updates. And after it's done loading everything, you'll just hit install. And you can choose whether you want to reboot or not. It's up to you. This is freaking awesome. Now my apps like LTE Discovery, I can have root access. Uh, Signal Check Pro, I can force my device to go on to uh, 4G LTE instead of GSM uh, by... <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you, you can... You're finished watching now if you don't want to watch anymore. So uh, reset mobile data connection. And then in a second here, it'll pop up and ask us, do you, uh, do you want to grant this thing root access? And then it, just it takes it a second. And sometimes it'll say, like, failed, root needed. And then it'll ask you for root access. So when it pops up here, the grant. Sweet. See, it said re reset failed, root permission needed. If we go back to the app now, we can actually press reset mobile data connection and it'll uh, put it into airplane mode, reset it, and my device will be forced to connect to LTE. I'm on Wi-Fi, so it doesn't matter. And now my apps like LTE Discovery can be, you know, granted root access. This is done, so install, installing BusyBox, it's successful, and then we're done. We have root, we have BusyBox, we have Titanium Backup, we have greenify uh once you install the exposed framework you do need to reboot in order to get uh everything working and also you want to make sure that under the modules that you have the ones you need checked and then install install and then it says do i want to reboot now and now if, i'm going to go ahead and press ok and fast forward the video 
All right, so we're back, and now we can open up an app like Instagram, and then an Instagram is a huge battery killer for all of my devices. So now I can hit Hibernate Now, and it won't say anymore. Just say Signal Check Pro and Instagram Hibernated. So I this is this is. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. I I don't know why it took me so damn long to do this. And also something that's important is you can actually flash your device back to stock recovery because OT updates will more than likely not work. So you can actually download stock recovery mint for the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. And then when there's an update available, it'll automatically install that update and you might need to reroute um, by installing custom recovery again, installing SuperSU, rebooting, uh, making sure Root's working, and then installing stock recovery again. I will link in the description to stock recovery for the HTC One M8, and you can flash that just like you did for the fast boot flash recovery, open, twerp, whatever. Instead, you will have the file name of the stock recovery, say it's named stock recovery M8. You will do fast boot flash recovery, and then like stock tab and then it'll autofill stock recovery m8 and you press enter and it flashes it and you'll still be rooted until an update is applied so that's that i might do a separate video on that if people request it i don't know more than likely i will leave me a comment if you want to see on how to flash stock recovery so you can accept ot updates sorry the video was longer than i wanted it to be i wanted to go ahead and show you what i do with my rooted device after I root it. So now this thing up here tells me that I'm connected to LTE on T-Mobile. And if it was Sprint, it would say that also. Or it would say like 1X. Or on a device like the Moto G where you don't have LTE, it says 3G on the uh, version you get from Motorola or Amazon. You can actually, this app will actually tell you, hey, you're connected to HSPA Plus, not really 3G. I'm in my basement, so my signal's not that great. But even with one bar, I still get like 18 to 20 down with T-Mobile. So, But I usually get two bars when I'm upstairs. But uh, again, if you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that. And it helps out the channel more than you probably know. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button. It's free and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video on the HTC One M8. The OnePlus One that's coming out soon. And several other cases and tech related stuff and you won't miss any video so please subscribe if you haven't already also please follow me on twitter and instagram if you want to stay up on the latest videos i'm working on see behind the scenes stuff or just stay up to date in general this is what would josh do and i'm out